the Chinese Navy has launched a stealthy new corvette, an experimental warship that has captured global attention for its innovative design and potential implications for future naval operations. Spotted in clear imagery for the first time in November 2023 and recently seen at sea in May 2024, the ship has emerged as a focal point of intrigue for naval analysts. The corvette constructed at the Neoland shipyard in Niaoling province, northern China, represents a significant step forward in People's Liberation Army Navy pursuit of cutting-edge naval capabilities. The new experimental corvette showcases an array of cutting-edge technologies that highlight its role as a testing platform for advanced naval systems. Its design incorporates a slick, stealth focus profile marked by a low observable main gun and optimized variants of the HQ-10 short-range air defense missile system. This feature underscores China's emphasis on reducing radar signatures and enhancing survivability in contested environments. One of the most notable elements is the compact vertical load system equipped with 16 cells. While the exact type of missiles remain unconfirmed, the system could support a range of ordnance, including the HQ-16 surface to air missile or potentially more advanced manned hydro missiles. This versatility allies with China's growing preference for modular and adaptable weapons platforms. The Corvus propulsion system also points to innovation, with evidence suggesting the possible use of water jet propulsion for enhanced maneuverability and reduced acoustic signature. Other configurations, such as a hybrid arrangement involving diesel engines, gas turbines, or electric drives, remain plausible, demonstrating flexibility in power solutions. Adding to its experimental nature, the ship features inflatable radar reflectors on the bow and helicopter deck. These devices not only enhance operational safety, but may also obscure its true stealth capabilities during trials. The blackened sensor mast, combined with visible exhaust vents, suggests a sophisticated design and eliminates waterline exhausts, further refining the vessel's stealth characteristics. This blend of advanced weaponry, propulsion, and radar technologies positions the Corvette as a groundbreaking platform for testing and refining the next generation of China naval capabilities. Niaoland Shipyard, known for constructing TAP-056 Corvettes and maintaining various People's Liberation Army Navy ships, is an app location for developing this experimental platform. Its smaller size and specialized expertise make it a hub for testing and prototyping new technologies. This aligns with China's broader strategy of using bespoke designs to reify emerging capabilities before committing to full-scale production. The operational role of this experimental Corvette remains speculative. However, its design suggests potential use in weapon system testing. The stealthy design and compact VLS may allow the Corvette to trial next-generation anti-ship missiles, air defense systems, and mount iron ordnance. The sensor development, novel radar and electronic warfare systems could be tested on this platform, advancing People's Liberation Army's network-centric warfare capabilities. The proportion and signature management, the ship could serve as a testbed for low emission propulsion systems and stealth optimization technologies. 
Also, the vessel's experimental nature limits its immediate operational deployment. It plays a crucial role in shaping the future of Chinese naval warfare. By testing cutting-edge technologies, the Corvette supports People's Liberation Army's ambitions to modernize its fleet with a focus on stealth, survivability, and Mount Tyron adaptability. Chinese Navy has increasingly emphasized service combatant versatility, integrating stealth and advanced electronics to maintain dominance in regional waters and project power globally. The new Corvette could inform future designs for coastal defense ships or modular platforms tailored for specialized missions such as anti-submarine warfare or electronic surveillance. So far, no additional hulls of this type have been spotted, reinforcing its designation as an experimental vessel. However, this does not diminish its significance. China's history of using prototypes to reify technology suggests that successful systems and concepts from this Corvette could be incorporated into larger classes of ships. For instance, innovations tested on this platform could find their way into the Type 054 frigate series, Type 055 destroyers, or even new categories of unmanned surface vessels. Moreover, the presence of military personnel during its launch hangs a strong institutional backing, increasing the likelihood of meaningful technological transfer to future production models. The launch of this experimental corvette reflects People's Liberation Army's Navy's commitment to developing a technologically superior fleet capable of addressing diverse maritime challenges. As the ship undergoes trials, its contribution to stealth technologies, weapon systems, and propulsion design are likely to influence the broader evolution of China's naval doctrine. Whether as a one-off testbed or the precursor to a new class of warships, the vessel underscores China's intent to lead in naval innovation and reshape the balance of power at sea.